This right here, my new favorite wig ever. I love this so much. Oh my goodness. Ah! Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another cosplay story time. Today I'm doing things a little bit different. This is gonna be kind of like a high school nerd chronicle story, I guess. I don't know what to call it. High school drama, not really. High school... This is gonna be like a high school story. A lot of my cosplay stories that I've shared like happened while I was in high school, but this one happened like while I was actually like in high school. Not like at a convention, but like physically in high school. Not like in high school, but like at a convention. It was in high school, but also physically in my high school. So yeah, it's still like a cosplay story time, it's still relevant to cosplay, but it's going to be more about kind of like my experiences um, in high school. And I thought that sharing this might resonate with some people who've gone through the same thing or are going through the same kind of thing right now, because I know that a lot of you watching are still teenagers and are still in high school. So I don't know, maybe this will be therapeutic or helpful or just like knowing that somebody has kind of had the same experiences you might be helpful. I don't know. I'm just gonna stop yammering about what this story is and I'll just get into it and tell you guys. So this is the time that one of my high school bullies slash mean girls wanted one of my cosplays, wanted to borrow one of my cosplays. So a little bit of background. Um, all throughout my school career, I was never a cool kid. I was always like picked on and bullied and didn't have a whole lot of friends and everybody thought that I was weird and that my interests were weird and that I was a baby for liking cartoons and stuff. So like I was never a cool kid. I was always like the stereotypical like nerd that all the popular kids just like thought was a dork basically. In my high school class, there was this group of girls and one of the girls in that group, we're gonna call her Chanel. Chanel and her friends, they bullied me all throughout high school, but not in like the, you know, shove you into a locker and call you names kind of way, but in the kind of like mean girl way, right? Where they would like ignore me or like they wouldn't really acknowledge me. They would talk down to me. They were always very condescending. They made it very clear that they thought that I was very much un uncool and that my interests, you know, cosplay, anime, cartoons, and all that stuff was just like, dumb and juvenile and they would only really talk to me when they had to and whenever they would talk to me they'd, they'd be snarky and they would definitely be like you know them talking down to me for instance uh we were in the school play together in uh ninth grade and i think 10th grade as well um but specifically in ninth grade it was midsummer night's dream and we played a group of, of fairies and so we were working together like a whole lot we were basically like all a group because of like the roles that we were playing. And even like within this group where we had to get along, I was very much like counted out, I guess you could say. Like they very much did not want to include me, you know, when they were having their lunches or anything. Like I was very much um, by myself throughout that entire production. So that kind of puts things into perspective. Another thing that happened with Chanel, just to kind of, again, set the stage, we were on this field trip and part of this field trip was we went to this museum and then we went to this big mall afterwards. We had traveled to another city and there's this huge mall. And so we went to this museum and then we went to this mall afterwards. And so I went off by myself and I found this huge anime store in this mall. And that was during like my early days of being an anime fan. I had just gotten into Full Metal Alchemist. I love Full Metal Alchemist, like my main jam was Full Metal Alchemist and I had never seen Full Metal Alchemist merch. This was also actually before my first anime convention so I guess I just never seen like anime merch period. This was before anime merch was like super widespread kind of like it is today so you really had to go to a convention or like a specialized store to find it and there were no specialized stores um, in my city at the time. So like basically what I'm getting at is like super into Full Metal Alchemist, don't have anybody to share this interest with, don't have anywhere to get merch from, and I find this store that's just all anime merch, and I find all this Full Metal Alchemist stuff, and I'm just like over the moon, I'm so happy, I'm this like excited little solo anime nerd, right? Because it's really cool to see, you know, a whole business based around this thing that you like and don't really have anybody to share that interest with. So I got some Full Metal Alchemist posters and I was so ecstatic. So we're on the bus ride home. The girls are talking about what they got. And I'm like, oh, I got all these posters from Full Metal Alchemist. And like, I don't know, I, I just kind of was so excited about it that I'm like, oh, these girls probably like aren't gonna know what that is. Or, you know, they're not gonna be super familiar, but I just wanna say it cause I'm just so excited. Like you cannot even picture how giddy I was over this. So Chanel is sitting in front of me on the bus and I'm like, oh, I got these Full Metal Alchemist posters. And she's like, oh, Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, my sister used to like that show. And just very much has this 
like tone of voice and like body language of like, oh my gosh, that's so uncool. And then her friend who was sitting next to her was like, oh, what show is it? And she's like, <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist. Like textbook, like mean girl, like that's what my experience with this group of girls was, especially Chanel. So anyway, so now we know about Chanel. Now we know kind of about like how she treated me in school. So now for the actual story. So I was sitting in my French class one day. This was pretty much like exactly one week before a school dance. And I think it was either the Halloween dance or it was this heroes and villains theme dance. I can't remember exactly which one it was, but I'm pretty sure it was the heroes and villains theme dance. So I'm sitting in French class, Chanel and her friends are sitting behind me and it's it's study time or whatever, or like the, the class hasn't started yet, or you know, for some reason we're allowed to talk and stuff. So I'm just like doing my thing and she calls on me, which is weird, right? Cause she never really acknowledges me unless she absolutely has to. The other thing about Chanel, is that she had this very specific way of talking to me, which was completely different from how she would talk to her friends and how she would talk to teachers. And it was a very, very condescending way. So she would basically talk to me like I was a little kid. Um, so she would slow down her speech and really enunciate and talk to me like I was a little kid. Like somehow, you know, like she thought I was stupid or whatever, which, you know, is totally not okay. Please don't talk to people like that. Just talk to them how you would talk to your friends. Anyway, that felt real nice. She says, do you watch Sailor Moon? And this totally catches me off guard because like up until this point, she's made it very clear that she thinks that like me liking anime, me being into cosplay was like super stupid, right? And so I'm like, oh, maybe she's had a change of heart. Maybe like she wants to talk anime with me and she thinks that anime is cool. And like, you know, maybe, you know, we'll be friends or like, you know, better acquaintances or whatever. My mind is like running with this idea. And I think like what I really wanted in high school was to feel included within my classmates. So. I get really excited because I'm thinking maybe something cool is going to come out of this. So I'm like, oh no, I've, I've never actually seen Sailor Moon. She's like, oh, because for the dance, I want to be Sailor Moon's sidekick, Sailor Mercury. So I was wondering if you had anything you could lend me. That's like the ultimate punch to the face. Having someone make it very clear that they think that what you do, like, you know, cosplay, anime, all that stuff, is dumb until it somehow serves them. The notion of like coming to me and asking if I could lend her something and lend her something, you know, if I did have a Sailor Moon cosplay, right? The thing about my cosplays during high school was that all of them were made um, with the help of my mom. My mom actually did most of the sewing um, during those early years of cosplay because I didn't know how to sew and she really enjoyed it. So she would put so much love and effort um, into each cosplay and it was, you know, it was such a passion project, you know, for the two of us. And they were like these beautifully made, very intricate and just lovingly made things. And just the idea of someone who obviously didn't think very highly of me, obviously, you know, like bullied me, made me feel small and all that stuff. Um, just like the, the idea of somebody just using me and like wearing this, this thing that is so sentimental. I don't know if I'm explaining it well, but it's just, it's a crazy thing to think about, right? And like knowing what I knew about Chanel and knowing like how she felt towards me, I don't think she would have, you know, taken that great a care of it. I don't know, it, it happens. Like, let me know in the comments if this has ever happened to you, but like, you know, when the kind of like your bullies or like the mean girls in school or whatever, give you a hard time for, you know, liking what you like, you know, being a nerd, being into, you know, fantasy, sci-fi, anime, cartoons, whatever. But then they like act like it's cool when they can get something out of it. But like outside of that context, they think that what you're into is stupid. I don't even know if I'm really like explaining it that well. I hope you guys know what I mean, but it was just a real kind of like, punch to the face moment. So anyway, from there, her friends kind of chime in. They're like, yeah, do you have any like Sailor Moon related stuff that she could borrow? And I was like, oh no, sorry. Like I don't have anything Sailor Moon related. And she's like, okay, well, thanks anyway. And that was that. Did not feel good. Did not feel good to have somebody basically ridicule and like, you know, obviously disapprove of this passion, this hobby that you have. But then when it serves them, they'll kind of ask you for it. There's a big moral to this story that I want to put out there. And that is that there's no reason 
not to be nice to people in high school. I know that in high school, everybody's dealing with their own thing, and this is not something that I hold against this person at all, because I know that, like, you know, that was pretty much a lifetime ago, and she's probably a completely different person, and so, like, I'm not angry at her, I don't hate her as a person, I just look back at this memory and think, you know, that was kind of a crappy thing. In any sort of environment, especially school, it's very popular among kids to ignore, mistreat, belittle, talk down to other kids, just because you don't share the same interests or you think that they're somehow uncool or weird. And yeah, I was not a super cool kid, but that doesn't mean that I and everybody else in that school wasn't worthy of respect. There's no reason not to, you know, be kind and positive to other people, even if you don't have the same interests as them or you think that they're kind of weird or eccentric or whatever, um, you can still like acknowledge them as a person. You can still like smile at them in the hallways. You can still talk to them and kind of like acknowledge them in a positive way. And that doesn't make you super BFFs, you know, friends forever. Like you don't have to be close friends with people, but you can be positive acquaintances. And I think it's very popular within like, you know, the drama hive that is high school to be like negative acquaintances with people just because you don't have the same interests as them. There's absolutely no reason for that. Anyway, <laughs> that's my kind of cosplay mean girl high school story. I was not as eloquent as I meant to be, but I hope that this was somehow like helpful for you guys or entertaining or whatever. And yeah! Before I go, I wanted to give a huge thank you to all of my patrons over on Patreon. You guys are rock stars and I just really appreciate you um, sticking with me over on Patreon. Really, really appreciate your guys' support. I just wanted to say that because you guys are awesome and I appreciate your support. Like so much and I don't feel like I say it enough so thank you guys so much. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys all next time. Until then, hand faces, please be sure to take a care.